Over the last 150 years, we've created a society that, that runs on oil. And it's inevitable that we would have done so because it's just such incredibly inexpensive, convenient, energy-dense stuff. The problem, of course, is that oil is a non-renewable resource. So even when we first started using the stuff, we knew that eventually we'd run out. At some point, since oil is a finite resource, you, you can't keep raising production. Usually this is about the halfway point. When you've depleted half of the resource, it becomes harder and harder to raise production. It doesn't mean you run out. And a great deal of oil is still coming out of the ground. If we were to peak tomorrow, we'd still have 82 and a half million barrels coming out of the ground every day. But it would be really hard to get 83 and a half million barrels. We know that the end of cheap oil is imminent, but we refuse to believe it. The rate with which oil has been coming out of the ground has stagnated. It's stagnated at 84 million barrels of oil a day, which sounds like an incredible number, but that's what we use to power ourselves at today's rate of use. And as the world population continues to grow and as prosperity presumably continues to grow and people power up in their energy use, we get to a situation where there isn't any excess capacity to keep that powering going. And at some point, you end up with a flat supply and a growing demand and you have serious problems and that's the nature of peak oil. Discoveries of new oil peaked right around 1963-64. Uh, that was a long time ago so we're not talking about a couple of years of, of bad luck in exploration. This is a long established trend. We've been discovering less oil with every passing year. It's at the point now where we're extracting and using about four or five barrels of oil for every one that we discover. Now, the oil industry responded in a number of ways, but one of the things it did was begin developing some amazing new technologies to help it find more oil faster. And despite this huge investment in technology and these great leaps forward, the, the rates of discovery are still declining. Country after country is reaching its own national all-time oil production peak and going into decline. The U.S. was one of the first to do it back in 1970. And now something like 30 or 33 countries are past their peak. And so it's inevitable that within the very next few years, we'll see the global peak in oil production. Nobody's ready for that. We have had three or 400 years of fossil fuel. It's coming to an end. Is, is that an historic turning point? It's breathtaking. The whole world runs by oil. This is an oil culture. If historians look back from generations in the future and they look back at our period of time in history, they'll say, that's the oil people. We grow our food in petrochemical fertilizers and pesticides, oil. Our plastic and building materials are derived from petrochemicals. Our pharmaceutical products are primarily petrochemical based. Our clothes, most of them are synthetics made of petrochemicals. Our power, our heat, our transport, our light, this is the oil era. We are not going to run Walmart, Walt Disney World, and the interstate highway system on solar or wind or hydrogen or coal or sin fuels made from coal or the products of the Alberta tar sands or recycled french fried potato oil or any of the things that people are imagining. Uh, you need this underlying oil economy to even fabricate the solar equipment, you know, to get the wires, to get the plastic films, to get, to, to get the aluminum frames, the silicon components. You need manufacturing procedures that take a lot of energy. Um, it's, it's not as though these things are free, and, and we're used to imagining that we get all the stuff because we've had, in the background of our lives, for our whole lives, we've had this oil economy that furnishes us with all this stuff. All the structures that now exist are urban formations, our transportation systems, our means of getting food, globalization as an economic model, capitalism as an economic model, which depends upon constant expansion and growth and ever more resources. It cannot possibly continue to exist because they're all based on the root, the root base of all of it is the existence of cheap energy. In order to avoid a deflationary depression, we have to have continual growth in the money supply, which has to be based on continual growth in economic activity, which must be based on the continual growth in available energy and raw materials. We've built an economy 
based on the idea that, the, that it has to grow every year or else collapse. So soon the economy won't be able to grow and all signs are that we may be facing a kind of global economic collapse because of peak oil. We simply must balance our demand for energy with our rapidly shrinking resources. By acting now, we can control our future instead of letting the future control us.